what we're going to talk about first is a print function, right? And what the print function does is it prints out something on the console. This is the most basic function in Python, right? So what we're going to write on here, and for those of you who want to follow along, go ahead, right? We're going to write print, and then we're going to put a parentheses, right? And inside the parentheses, we're going to put quotations, and we're going to say, hello world, as this first assignment asks us to do. So, in fact, let's put the exclamation mark at the end. And uh, if you guys are having trouble, right, and you can't figure out you're getting like a weird error or something, you can go ahead and submit and await for feedback. And I will send back any feedback that is necessary. So you see like this iterative process that I sort of go through just like step by step. Um, sometimes you make errors like that. And the best way is, you know, read the error message, try and figure out what you did wrong and uh, fix it. Does that make sense to everyone? Uh, can you show us it again? Oh. Yeah, it's right here. Um, is there a space in between the A comma B? So it doesn't matter if there's a space or not here. Uh, you can if you want to, or you don't have to. Um, I'm a little stuck. Can I share my screen? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so here it's saying invalid syntax. So check your line number five, right? And check the number of parentheses you have on line five. Uh, how would you use, how would you change the integer to a string, right? Because you can only add two strings together, or you can only add two integers together. Change the integer to a string. Yeah, Al what Ali ran into his problem was that he was trying to add an integer and a string together and it gave him an error, right? So you look up on Google, Python change integer to string. It says right here, right? You just put str in front and then you put whatever integer is inside. So today we went over the basic functions of Python, we went over print, we went over input, and we talked a little bit about variables as well as the math library. And really the only way to, you know, get good at coding and get all good at you know, all of these things is to just do a lot of practice, right? And we have a lot of problems over here.